In this video, we are going to learn how you can create interactive flip books from PDF. So the idea here is that whenever you are going to upload a new PDF file into a specific folder into your Google Drive account, then automatically a new flip book should get created into your Hazine software application. For that, you need to integrate your Google Drive with Hazine. So how you can integrate both these software applications using Pabli Connect, for that you need to come to my screen. To create interactive flip books from PDF, first we need to log into pabbly pabli.com. This is the website of Pabli. Now here we can find two options, sign in, sign up free. If you are a new user, you have to just click on sign up for free button and you can create your own account in just two minutes and you are going to get free task every month. If you are already a user of Pabli Connect, simply sign in. From the all apps section, access Pabli Connect. This is the dashboard of Pabli Connect. Here we have to create a workflow. For that click on this plus sign create workflow. Now here we have to give a name to the workflow. So let us give the name as create interactive flip book from PDF. Here you can give the workflow name as per your requirement and simply click on create. Now we can see a trigger window and an action window. So Pabli Connect works on the concept of trigger and action. Trigger means when this happens, action means do this. So in this particular use case, we want that whenever we are going to upload a new PDF file into a Google Drive folder, then automatically the same file should be converted into interactive flipbook. So now let's integrate Google Drive with Pabli Connect first. Open this trigger window and here choose the application name as Google Drive. Select the trigger event as new file in a specific folder. Click on connect. Click on add new connection and click on connect with Google Drive. Now here it is asking to choose an account to continue to Pabli Connect Drive. So here I am just going to choose my account in which I have already created a folder. It is asking for the additional access. So let's scroll down and click on continue to give away the access as the data is 100% safe with Pabli Connect. Authorization successful. And now the Google Drive account is connected to Pabli Connect. Now as we have created a connection, here we can find all the folders or subfolders that I have created in my Google Drive account. Okay, You can find all the folder names over here. So I'll just take you to my Google Drive account where I have already created a folder named Flipbook and I have given the shareable access over here. Okay, So now I am going to integrate this particular folder that is Flipbook with Pabli Connect. So from the drop down I am going to select my specific folder name that is Flipbook. And now before clicking on save and send test request, first I'm going to upload a new file in this particular folder just because after clicking on the save and send test request button, it is going to capture the latest response. The latest file details will be captured over here. So let's move to our Google Drive account and from here I'm just going to click on this plus new button and let's upload a new file. And I'm just going to upload this lightning products brochure. Okay, it is getting uploaded. And within some seconds, it will be uploaded. Okay, and here we can find that a new PDF file is uploaded over here and the name is lightning products brochure.pdf. Okay, now let's move back to Pabli Connect and now we are going to click on save and send test request. And here we can see the responses received and all the details related to this particular file are captured over here. We can find a web content link. Okay, this is the link of the PDF file. When we scroll down, we can find some permission kinds, permission IDs and here we have got the title also, that is the file name. Okay. Now here I want to give you an important information that here you can see that the data has captured immediately. But sometimes it may take some time in capturing the response as the trigger here is polling based. So if your data doesn't get captured immediately, don't worry about that and please wait for 15-20 minutes patiently, the data will surely arrive. Okay. And here also it is mentioned that this particular trigger will check for the new data in every 10 minutes. Okay. Now we have already got the response over here. Now we want to create a new interactive flipbook using this particular PDF file. So now let's integrate Hazine with Pabli Connect. So come to this action window and here choose the application name as Hazine. Select the action event as create a flipbook. Click on connect. Click on add new connection. And now it is asking for the API key. Enter your API key and you can find your API key from here. So I'm just going to click on this hyperlink that is here. And here we can find the API key. So I'm just going to copy it and I'll be pasting the same over here. And now let's click on save to create a connection. And here we can see that the Hazine account is connected to Pabli Connect. Now here it is asking for the PDF URL. 
So here we have to map the URL that we have already received from our trigger response over here. That is a web content link. Okay. Here we will be mapping this particular URL. For mapping, simply scroll down, click it over here, come to the trigger response and from the drop down, let us find the web content link. Okay, now why we have mapped the file URL or the PDF URL over here just because next time whenever you're going to upload a new PDF file to your Google Drive folder, then automatically the file will be captured over here. The new file details will be captured and the new file will be converted into your interactive flipbook. Okay, that is the reason we have to map it over here instead of copy and pasting. Now it is asking for the title. So here we have got the title also, but here in the title we have got .pdf extension also. So I don't want this .pdf extension to be given to my flipbook. So I have to just remove this particular extension from the file name. For that, we have to apply a text formatter over here. So click on this plus sign to add an action step and choose the application name as text formatter. Select the action event as split text. Click on connect. Now here it is asking for the text that needs to be splitted. So here I'll be mapping the title. Okay, that is lightning products brochure.pdf. Let's come to Google Drive response and from the drop down, let us map the title. Now here it is asking for the separator. Enter the character, special characters are allowed or the word separator to split the text on. For space as a separator, use space in the curly braces. So here I want to give the separator as dot, okay? And the segment index should be the first one. So the text which is before the dot sign will be captured in the response. Let's click on save and send test request. And here we have got the response and in the response we have got the result that is the file name is captured without the .pdf uh, extension. Okay. So now we'll be mapping this particular file name. But as we have added an action step, we have to just reconnect Hazen application with Pabli Connect. Simply click on select existing connection and click on save. And now here we'll be mapping the title from our text formatter response. Here if you want to specify some subtitle also, then you can just map it over here. Allow downloading, you can just select it as yes or no as per your requirement. In my case, I'm just keeping it as no. Full screen, no. Previous and next buttons, no. Show the title, subtitle and description. Let's keep it as yes. Okay, background color, you can specify as per your requirement. And if you want to specify some logo, then you can give the logo URL over here. And now let's click on save and send test request. Okay, and here we can see the response is received and in the response we have got the URL, thumbnail and the PDF file. So let us check our flipbooks. We have to just refresh our account. And here we can see that a new flipbook is created over here. Lightning products brochure. Let's open the flipbook. Okay, it is getting loaded over here. Okay, and here we can see that our flipbook is created successfully. Okay, now let's move back to Public Connect and let us save this workflow first. Data saved successfully. Okay. Now we have set up an automation. This is a one time process. Next time, whenever you're going to upload a new PDF file in your Google Drive specific folder, then automatically a new flipbook will get created into your Hazen account. So now we are going to check this in the real time that whether our integration is actually working fine or not. For that, let's move to the Google Drive folder. Here we are going to upload a new PDF file. And this time I'm just selecting this uh, revision notes for biology. And here we can see that a new PDF file is uploaded. Now let us check our Hazen account. Just close this window and we have to just refresh it. And even after refreshing, we can't find a new flipbook created over here just because I have already informed you that the trigger here is polling based and it will take time to capture the response. So here we have to wait for some time. So now it's almost six to seven minutes. Let us refresh our Hazen account once again. And here we can see a new flipbook is created. Okay, we can find the file name as neat revision note. Let's open it. Okay, neat revision notes for biology. And here we can see that a new flipbook is created successfully. And in this way, we can see that our integration is perfectly working fine. Okay, let's move back to public connect. And now I'll just minimize all these windows and let us see in a nutshell whatever we have done till now. So first we have created an integration between Google Drive and Public Connect so that whenever you're going to upload a new file into a specific folder, automatically all the file details are captured in Pabli Connect. Then we have applied a text formatter over here just because in the trigger response, we have got the file name along with the extension. So we have removed the extension using the split test action step over here. 
And at last, using all these details, we have created a new flipbook in our Hazine account. And in this way, we have learned that how we can create interactive flipbooks from PDF using Public Connect. Thank you. So not just these software applications, you can integrate a ton of applications and automate your business with Pabli Connect. In case you have any queries, you can just post your queries at Pabli Forum. Our team will surely get back to you. This is our Pabli Connect website. And to know the latest updates and unique automation ideas, you can join our Facebook group that is Pabli.connect. Also, the link of Pabli Connect and this workflow is attached in the description box. You can clone this workflow into your account directly. If you really like this video, please comment, share and subscribe. Thank you everyone.